guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, I'm already set up. We're getting started on a video really quick here. If you're new, welcome. I'm Phoebe. And if you're not new, I'm still Phoebe. So, that was stupid. So, the video I have planned for today, I am going to be testing viral TikTok recipes and foods because I've always found those videos super interesting and I mean who doesn't like to like eat food and like yeah make food I love making food so put it back to the day so yeah we're gonna be testing some viral tiktok foods and recipes and hopefully they turn out because I'm eating all of them so yeah that's hopefully they're good I don't actually have tiktok I just got it to make this video and find recipes so hashtag effort Anyways, so let's get going. So the first dish that I'm going to make is a three or four, depending on how you look at it, four ingredient strawberry sorbet and it looked really good and since it's literally like mid-April but it's like raining and snowing here in Wisconsin, I was like this will be like a really good one to get me to like a summer mood. So we're going to get started on making the four ingredient strawberry sorbet. So we're experimenting with angles here evidently. Um, but we're gonna get started on this. So the first ingredient is strawberries. It said you can use either fresh or frozen ones, but if you get, um, if you get frozen ones, it takes less time for it to be in the freezer. And I'm impatient, so we're getting the, these. And it didn't really, it didn't even give them, like, like, any, like, it just said you add this and this into, like, a blender, and then you mix it. Like, it didn't even tell you, like... Like amounts, so I'm literally just eyeballing stuff and making enough like for me, and that's it. And then I guess this is like the second ingredient, but I don't even know if we get water as an ingredient. It's just water, so that the strawberries blend up easier. So the strawberries are blended as good as we're gonna get them. <laughs> and then uh, the next thing, the next thing said you're supposed to add like honey for like I guess like like sweetness or whatever. But I mean it's strawberries, so it's already kind of sweet. So I don't see a massive point to this, but I mean, we're following the recipe. Ah! It's getting annoying. Okay, that's probably enough. It didn't, it, it, like, like I said, it, literally, basically none of these recipes have, um, ingredient, like, not ingredients, like, amounts or whatever. Oh, and the next ingredient is lime juice for, like, some zest. And I like my stuff really dusty, so I'm adding, like, a lot. I'm spraying everywhere. Okay. And then you just blend it up again. Oh my goodness, this looks so good. Oh my goodness. <gasps> okay, I'm actually getting really excited to try this one. Oh my goodness, this looks so good. Okay guys, like I mean, look at that. It looks so creamy. Okay, I'm actually drooling. Oh my goodness! Mom and Dad, you should see this! It looks amazing! Should I be a professional chef, guys? Let me know down in the comments. I guess it's too early in this video to decide. Probably. Yeah, for sure. Too early. Um... Here we go. And you can see, like, it definitely, if it were to be, like, the consistency of sorbet, it would definitely have to be, like, a lot firmer, because, like, I mean, it's definitely moving around a lot. So, the next time I just put it in the freezer um, for, it didn't even say how much time. It said, like, an hour to, like, three hours. So, we're going to put it in there for a while, and we'll be back when this is full. Okay, okay, we're trying the watermelon sorbet, or strawberry sorbet. And it like scoops like ice cream. It's kind of reminds me of like sherbet. And like the consistency looks like really good. So yeah, we're gonna try it now. Oh, it's really good. Okay, I'm giving the sorbet an 8.5 out of 10. I can definitely see myself making like this like um. Some summer like 
summer afternoon or something when I'm going to be doing yard work or garden work and then coming in and having that, like, it, that, that's going to really organize me up. So, yeah, definitely make this. It's really good. Okay. I'm making the toaster quesadilla. I decided, so you can kind of put whatever fillings you want, like just like a regular quesadilla. Uh, I decided to make a pizza quesadilla because my sister hasn't eaten lunch yet, so I might give her this one because she loves pizza. First ingredient is tortillas. Surprise, surprise. And then whatever fillings you want. I have pepperoni, cheese, salt and pepper, pizza seasoning, and then ketchup because I was a little bit nervous about putting like liquids into the tortilla. Um, not sure if it'll like leak or something, so we got ketchup for like a garnish afterwards. And the last thing you need is a toaster. So let's get going. Okay, you guys, so the next step is it's like a fancy folding procedure or whatever. It's a little bit on the bottom. I'm gonna fold on this side. And then fold on this side. So you're kind of like you're making a taco. And then you're supposed to fold this top piece down like that. So that you basically have just like this little pocket. Okay, so I have my little pocket of food. Oh my word, where's this leaks? That would not be good. Um. This could be disastrous. Possibly. We didn't fold it right. Okay, whatever. Hi. Turn it on. Anyway, so now we have a little hot pocket thing. Oh no, this is like folded really messy. If it falls out I'm in the middle of cooking, that'd be bad. Because I'm making it. Oh wait. Okay. Wait. 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 I got it. Never mind. I folded it. I folded it better. Okay. So now it so said the next thing we're supposed to do is we're supposed to put it in the toaster. Good boy. Okay. Okay, nothing's falling out yet. It's fine. Okay, and now we just let it toast. Okay, you guys, I have went to filming with two cameras. There's my backup. And here is this. It's going to come up in a second here. Okay, it actually looks really good. It's and I'll set up for the um, toaster quesadilla. I made pizza one. Okay, let's try it. I have ketchup. For tomato sauce, because I put it in there. Hmm. I got mostly just like cheese and tortilla. I'm gonna try again. Mm. It actually looks so good. Okay, guys, thumbs up for this one. For sure, make this at home. It's so good. 10 out of 10. Okay, guys, the next is a one pan egg sandwich. Okay, I'll step onto the egg sandwich. Olive oil in your pan. I mean, like. Pretty much normal if you're cooking anything. Um, okay, you guys actually lied. Step one is turn on the oven or the stove thingy. Step two is olive oil. Stir around a little bit. Get it evenly coated. Step three is scramble the eggs. Three, two, one. Step four, pour the scrambled eggs in the pan. Now this is very important. Don't stir the eggs like you would normally if you're gonna scramble them. Take two pieces of bread, and I'll show you what you do. 
you're going to take your two pieces of bread. One, oh boy, this is going to be a very tight squish. One goes way up there. The other one's supposed to fit down here, but they barely are going to... No, it's fine, it's fine. Make do with what we got. It's fine. Like that. Okay. Basically, I have to flip this whole thing so that the bread is now on the bottom and the eggs are up top. So I might not be able to film it. I'll try my best. Wait, here comes the moment of truth. Not really of truth, but... Oh my gosh, this is hard. Ow! I transfer it! Shoot! I don't think that worked. It's kind of burnt. Um... You know what? Like, the eggs are literally, like, almost... Yeah, the eggs are done, so we're just gonna turn this off. Oh, this is hard. Okay, guys, go see the... This is bread up here, but it's a little bit burnt. Don't know if this one's great. There's literally smoke. Oh, no. Fold in like this egg here on the side, but it's <laughs> kind of not working. I don't know if you guys can see. I'm like holding this up like right underneath my face while I'm trying to do this and it's not working. Fold properly, you stupid piece of bread. Okay, wait, there we go. You know what, okay, it actually did kind of work. What in the world? Okay, one pan, one pan egg thing. Let's try it. First of all, I'm giving a disclaimer. No, I'm not eating everything in this video because otherwise I'd be really concerned for my health. But we're going to try it because um, that's the proper way to do it. So this is the all review of the egg thing. <laughs> Keep forgetting what to call it. It's kind of burnt on this edge, but I think it should be okay. Let's try it. I'm kind of nervous for some reason. Side. Yeah. Okay, it's a little bland, but that's probably because it's like literally like egg and toast. I mean, what else do you expect? This actually worked a lot better than I thought it would. Like, I would make this for like breakfast. Yeah, that's good. You can do that. Mm -hmm. I'm giving this one an 8 out of 10 because it's kind of a hassle to do. Um, but it's fine and tastes good and stuff, so 8 out of 10. Okay, guys, TikTok food number four, and this one I'm really suspicious of because it sounds weird. It's carrot bacon. Basically, it's vegan bacon, which I really think like nothing can actually be like real bacon, so I'm get I'm really suspicious of this. Basically, it's like like peel like peels of carrot seasoned like bacon, and I'm kind of suspicious. But we're gonna try it, and we're gonna have my dad try it too because he's like a snob, a bacon snob, and so he'll he'll definitely give it a good rating. So we're gonna try that. Okay, so we're gonna try. <laughs> I almost started sliding off the plate. 
Okay, not gonna lie, this kind of look and feels like bacon. Don't bite it yet. This could be weird. It's literally like vegan bacon. Okay, ready? Okay, that looks like bacon. <gasps> Wait a second. I don't like it. Can I have another piece? Yeah. It's, it's too bad. strong. I don't like that. No. I don't like it. Okay, what rating do you give it? Out of 10? Yeah. Six, seven. That's generous. I was trying it. What do you think? What's your rating? One. One out of ten. Carrot bacon for the first time. He's a bacon snob, so he could be. It looks like I am a bacon snob. It looks like bacon. It's extremely crisp. It smells like very sweet bacon. Wow. You know. Okay, the texture's get bad. I know. Texture's I know, I know a little the off. Texture. And it is a little too sweet. But it doesn't taste bad. What's your out of ten rating? I would give it a I would get a bit of six maybe. Okay, y'all. So the fifth and final recipe is a um, peanut butter mug cake. And I have made mug cakes before, um, and they're actually really good. So I'm excited for this one because I love peanut butter. Here is what the batter looks like. And so we'll put it in the microwave for a minute and 30 seconds. Um, and now we wait. Okay, it's done. And I'm gonna take out my mug cake. First look. You know what? Actually, that look, that does look like that is so weird. Okay, it's a cake. Ew, and now we have to let it gross. we have to let it cool for a little bit, and then we'll put on some fudge topping, and we'll try it. We're gonna try the mug cake. Peanut butter mug cake. Moment of truth. Okay, it actually looks really, really good. Okay, three, two, one. Oh, that is really good. This might be my favorite from all day. It's it's tied with that. No, this is better. This is better than the sorbet. I'm ready to eat this whole thing. Mm. This one? 12 out of 10. Alright, you guys, so that's a wrap. Um, I decided my favorite was the cake for sure, and then the sorbet um, comes in second place. And then I liked it. The uh, toaster quesadilla was next, then the egg sandwich, and then the, uh, the carrot bacon was awful. I did not like that at all. So that one definitely gets lowest place, but. I think it was a pretty good try. Thanks for watching, and it would be really appreciated if you'd share with a friend and subscribe. Like this video, like leave a comment down below, um, and yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye.